Good morning guys, how are you today? Um, I thought I might do a behind the scenes sort of vlog for an art piece that I'm going to be working on for Saturday. And it's kind of a different sort of art thing, it's sort of like a colour palette challenge. So I don't know what the colour palette's going to be, I don't know what characters I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is going to make a list of all the male and female characters that I would like to draw, and then I'm going to go onto the internet, label them 1, 2, I don't know, 15, and then let the internet randomly decide who I'm going to draw with those numbers. Because I don't want to just check it out and go like, oh, I want to draw Tyler, oh, I want to draw Alyssa, oh, I want to draw Arabelle. I want to get some, you know, canon characters in because I don't draw enough of them. So I'm going to take five characters from all different places and just write them down. After that, then I'll write female characters down and then I've got to design a sort of design for the Night Bazaar, which is part of the Stark Touch Queen series that I'm doing on my YouTube channel. The first video, which is up and done, which took me about four and a half days to do. I was going through my list, like my memory and everything for all these characters, and I found something on my TV and art page, which I find really hilarious. So apparently in 2012, this is what the list of my most top male characters were. So I had Miguel from The Road to El Dorado, Karu from Horror High School Host Club, Zuko and Sasuke were tied, and I don't know why. Oh, Mitch, that was a fan character which I loved back in the day. Usuki, Ikdo, oh, this is just giving me so nostalgia. Luke Ainsworth was a fucking jerk in the anime, but he just grew so much. It was it it was it's a really underrated anime, The Sacred Blacksmith. Um, Nathaniel from my oh, my candy love, I love that game. Kind of made from Vampire Knight, still up there, but I don't know why it's number eight. Uh, Tulio from the Red Trail Dorado, ha, Miguel made it half higher than Tulio, even though now I probably will prefer Tulio over Miguel. Prince Adam and Prince Naveen, standard. Uh, Robin from the Teen Titans TV series. Oh my god. I, I, I don't know why that's on there now. Garrett from Quest to Camelot. <laughs> oh my god. This is like so really outdated. Derek from Barbie and the... T oh, yes. If you have not seen all the old Barbie movies, they are like some of the best Barbie movies ever. I love them. And Tamaki from Orange <laughs> Club. Yeah, that, that, that's like Maisie in 2012. Like that, that, that's changed. Like, but it's interesting to see how a person's taste in characters like change over time. Like back then I was all about the pretty boys and whatnot, but now I'm sort of like more into just, you know, just characters with depth, I guess. Although that, Luke Ainsworth one still stands up. I will say that because that anime was fucking brilliant. Um, but that's interesting. I might take a few from here and put them down on the list because I would really like to draw a few of them. Just an interesting peek into me in 2012. <laughs> so I've got lunch and this is the list of the male characters that I came up and the female characters that I have sort of come up with. And now I'm going to do the first generation. But that's just my Twitter because I keep that open. Um, so I've got random.org for the Jumbus generator and I've also got the palette. So I've also brought up the palette, palette with all the numbers on that so I can generate the numbers as well. And random.org. So let's get to it. Just zoom in there. So first we put in the 1 to 15. And then generate. So 12. So 12 on here is is Leo from TMNT. Come on. 
So first one we got is Leo from TMNT and second one for the boys is number three. So we have Bolin from Legend of Korra. That is pretty significant from all that. And in my own time, I might just pick out characters from this list and just do them, but this is just going to be a fun challenge. So now we've got the female characters. We've got 15 characters to choose from. So let's go. What have we got? Um, four is... Yay, we got one of the characters I wanted to pick out, which is a supporting character from Baby Steps. And generate 15. And we got Toph from Avatar The Last Airbender. So pretty much we got two sort of leader stubborn characters and two very supportive characters. Working out well. Now, let's see what palettes we'll be using for this one. So, 1, 2, 18. Generate. So, for Leo, we'll be using Never. Okay, generate. 13, which is always for Bolin. Oh, this is so cool. Um, next one, this is for the Baby Steps character, number four. We've already got that, so. Did a couple of times, and so we've got 11, which is Mimic. So she gets Mim. It's Mimic. Which is cool, like that's not a bad way to go. And for Toph we get in case. <laughs> that makes me laugh so much. In case. So that so just randomly I've gone a challenge to draw all of these and I have an idea for it. Um, the character that I actually really wanted to draw was Himiko Sasuke from Baby Steps. And I love her because she's not a character that is meant to be in the lead role. She plays the supporting character role, but I think the supporting character role is just as important as the main character. And I really love how she just supports Achan in everything he does with tennis. And it, it's such so good and she like, has a crush on him, but she supports him no matter how he feels. And that is just a strong character in my mind and I really, really love her. So the fact that I'm going to get some, do some fan art for her is very welcome. I might do a couple more of these off vlog because there is just a lot to get through. But these four are going to work out. So now all i got to do is grab reference and then start sketching. So I've gotten to the point where I'm now just thinking about what concept I want to do. And I think I want to do like a modern sort of concept, like bringing like Leo and uh, Bolin into sort of the modern day Eris to match up with sort of like Toph and that and just like a modern alternate universe. So I think I might... I sketch out some ideas for that and I, I really do have clear ideas for two of the characters so I might draw them first and then draw the ones that I don't particularly have an idea for last but now I'm just going to head over to my dad's house because he is home and he I want to see my father because he's been in hospital for the last day and a half so yay update um I've drawn Himako which took me like a long time because I cannot draw hands. And now I'm going to work on Bolin. I'm going to leave Leo for last and then draw Toph. Okay, so if I don't end up drawing all of them, I will use her as like Saturday's speed paint video because I do like how she came out. 
and she's like very yeah the hands are a little annoying but you know I suck at drawing hands and hands are a bit pain in the ass I may not get a lot done tonight because I have to cook dinner and but we're having beef stroganoff and rice which is a fairly simple dish anyone can make it and yeah, so I will be sort of just logging off for a bit while I make dinner. But I think the drawings are coming along well. I'm just looking up some stuff now. And then see how I feel about it. This is my Mona Lisa canvas. It's already a terror. Oh, the time is 10.53. I'm just getting back on to the computer. And as usual, my hair's a bloody mess. Um... I'm going to just finish up the bowling drawing and then I'll head to bed because I've got to get up tomorrow and go vote and then do two of the um, palette challenges. So looking forward to this. I have my tea in this cool Aladdin mug. And I've got my phone which has got Snapchat and stuff like that to entertain me and I'm watching draw each other's videos as well as having reference for Berlin so it should be good oh, hi guys it's now 12.07am and I've just finished the sketch so we got Berlin here playing a video game and then Mimiko reading she's going to be Actually, I'm going to do something so she'll be reading a volume of her own, like, manga series from where she's from. Still need to draw Liam and Toph, but I am not going to draw them tonight. I am too tired, so I'm happy about these two done today. I had a look at the chart that, that um, told me what colours that I had to use, and so I've just sort of just planned out what colours are going to be used on the drawings and I'm really looking forward to it but I'm not looking forward to having to vote tomorrow. It's a mandatory thing which is good but it's just a pain in the behind to do. So that's all from me for this behind the scenes vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I will, this will probably go up after the, the, the thing so alright good night bye. And it is complete, all the sketch part of it at least. Um, I'm going to be doing her for the speed paint and it'll be up probably late tonight, early Monday. colouring as you just saw in that last clip. It's going well. The rules that I have for this challenge are that you can use white and you can use black and then the colours that you're given. So I've sort of looking at 
the white and the black and where to put them so it's not all over pink. But it's turning out well. Um, I got a lot of stuff done today. I had to get stuff for experiment and I finally got purple hoodie. Gonna just show you something. This is the show which the illustration is based off. It is done. Finish. Finito. Done. Done. My God. It is finished. My first palette challenge and it turned out so good. Da, 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 da. Oh, she looks so good. She looks so good and it took hours to do. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thank you for joining me on this behind the scenes vlog. If you want to see more, just give that a like and tell me if you enjoyed seeing what happens behind the scenes while I'm doing hey. these speed paints. But if not, then this won't continue. I'm just trying out something new and that's all we can really do. Okay, see you later.